In Senegal, a model greenhouse is showcasing renewable energy technologies as part of efforts between the Israeli and Senegalese governments to improve food production and reduce dependencies on fossil fuels. VOA West Africa correspondent Scott Stearns has that story. The Israeli ambassador's residence in Dakar has undergone an eco-friendly renovation to better use renewable energy. Ambassador Gideon Bahar says it's a model for how people can live in balance with their environment. We have added, first of all, a system of irrigation which is called drip irrigation, which uses much less water and in a more effective way. So all the garden is uh, installed with a gutta gut or drip irrigation. In addition to that, we have added solar energy, either for heating the water, for showers of the kitchen uses, but also solar system for the electricity of the house. The model home includes an aquaculture project that Ambassador Bahar says can help improve Senegalese nutrition. We are growing fish. We want to show people here in Senegal that it is very possible with small pools of, uh, of water, which exist everywhere in Senegal and also in Africa, that you can grow enough food, enough protein, for your, uh, your needs as a family. The launch of the Israeli embassy's greenhouse includes demonstrations from Israeli businesses that are investing in new technologies. Senegal's Minister of Renewable Energy, Louis Sec, says that's especially important here in the Sahel. We have here an abundance of solar energy for pumping water, for heating water, and for running equipment like computers. So this is a great initiative by the Israeli ambassador and is part of developing renewable energy in Senegal. Minister Sec says Senegal's goal is to have solar power produce 60 percent of all household energy. Engineers are trying to combine solar power with the national electricity provider, Senelec. This is already part of a law that is being drafted to allow people with solar power to sell back their excess power to Senelec under certain conditions. Solar power allows people outside Senegal's national electricity grid to have power sooner, much as cellular phones have connected villages that are still waiting for landlines. Eyal Ben Yaakov works for the Israeli firm AMN Sun Solar. The problem here in Africa, if I may add, is the grid. And when you take an off-grid system and you bring it much faster and much, much uh, uh, cheaper, to the countryside, to the villages. This is something that will take years and years and years to do with the grid. Renewable Energy Minister Sec says solar power could rapidly improve the daily lives of the Senegalese people. We are asking everyone in Senegal to be inspired by this great initiative from the Israeli embassy, this greenhouse which promotes a new type of housing in which a big part of the energy used will be generated by solar power. Ambassador Bahar says renewable energy is essential to meeting the challenges of global climate change. It's a collective effort. It's in our hands a possibility to help and to protect our environment. If we don't do it now, it will be a disaster. Senegal and the Sahel countries in Africa suffer a lot from desertification, from the deterioration of soil of land, of climate changes. If we don't take immediate actions now, there will be a big disaster in these parts of Africa. That was West Africa correspondent Scott Stearns reporting.